right. Sorry I'm about a minute late, guys. Hey, Corey. Hey, Faye. Hey, Jenny. Ugh. All right. Ooh, this thing is dying. Uh... Okay. Oh, oh, we don't want to do that. All right. So, hey, Corey, by the way. Oh, that's your mom. Hi, Corey's mom. Um, uh, what was I going to tell you? Corey, uh, did you see the email that you got about the bridge? app for uh your at home group training thing is live and there are instructions and a youtube video you can watch for how to understand everything in there for the the off days that we're not doing these live things um so just to let you know that is there hey heidi and diana oh there's four man oops sorry you're gonna, i just got here too I'm, I'm late. We didn't start yet anyway. I'm going to sweat a lot. I have no AC today, so this is not going to be fun for me. But we're going to do a slightly different workout. Um, we're going to do eight-minute pods. I think this will work uh, pretty well. Um, don't feel like you have to keep up with me or can't go faster than me, but I'm going to try to show you the pace I want you to move. So if you actually follow me uh, and move with me, I that's probably ideal, but don't worry about it too much. So we're going to do three eight minute pods today um, for our strength training stuff. Um, we're going to start obviously with our warm up. I'm already sweating just sitting here. This sucks, but hey. Um, all right. A, other than that, do I have anything else? No, that is it. Okay. Um, so Corey, I'll text you after this because I didn't see you reply on the Instagram thing that you saw the email. I know Jenny saw the email, so I just want to make sure all of our members, Diana, did you see the email? Heidi, did you see the email about the, well, Heidi, I talked to you the other day about the Bridge app. Um, so hopefully, Diana, you saw it, um, and that stuff's live anyway. Hey, Auntie. Um, sorry, I froze? Oh, that sucks. Is it, is it, last time it was like a little grainy. Am I uh, pixelated or whatever on Instagram Live? Anyway, okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's go over the exercises, then warm up. Oh, you know what? I'll, eh, no, let's warm up first. Cause I don't want to tell you all six. I want to tell you each exercise so that you, that's all you have to worry about. So I'll tell you guys the two exercises in the pod at a time and then we're done. Uh, and then we'll move on. So you guys can add weights to these if you want to, you don't have to, like I told Melissa earlier on Instagram. Um, this is body weight only if you want it to be. You don't, it's not required that you have anything, but if you do have stuff you wanna make it harder, uh, you can absolutely do that. Uh, let's go ahead and warm up. So uh, let's just go ahead with some belly breathing. So we're just gonna lay back flat on the floor. Bring your knees up to your chest and just breathe. You can hold on to them if you want to. And just 10 or so nice big breaths, breathing into your belly, pressing your belly into your thighs expanding out through the sides you should feel your lower back press into the floor a little bit as you take a nice deep breath in All right, so let's call that 10 if you're not there yet. Hey, Sonia, the emo is so long. I know, that's why I made a video, but like I really couldn't do a whole lot with keeping that thing short because there are so many like, uh, so let's look up, head up, look down, head down. Um, the problem with that email, oh, and Sonia, I should talk to you. Remind me to call or text you or call and text me. Um, the problem with that email was the app has like so much capabilities 
and we wanted to make it as foolproof as we could make it. Um, uh, probably not politically correct to call it this, but we're gonna call it idiot proof. We tried to make it as idiot proof as possible uh, when clients select their workouts. Let's go looking over the shoulder left and right. Um, so we tried to put as much detail in there as possible. So if you can understand the details, then you can kind of make as best of a decision as possible without me, the trainer, being there to decide for you um, based on the equipment you have and your cardiovascular fitness level or your movement capability fitness level or any of that kind of stuff. So there is a lot of detail and some of it seems like gibberish if you don't understand my thought process of uh, why I had to label things or abbreviate things or why I couldn't put like really detailed descriptions because there's only so much space on your phone that you can see those things where I need the important information to be quick and available so you can make your best decision quickly. Um, so that's why the email is super long. Um, and then I have to send out an email about the individualized training um, stuff for the app too because that was just the group stuff. Anyway, uh, do, 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 oh, rolling. So let's go ahead, um, lay flat on your belly. We're gonna do arm rolls, half arm rolls. So lay on your belly, look over that left shoulder, reach that left shoulder backwards, relax the lower body, breathe a couple times at the end position where you might feel a little tight, come back, and then go to the right. So yeah, that, that email was kinda long. That's why I shot a video, but I figured even the video was like 15 minutes long, but I figure if you get it, once you get it and understand, uh, it will make the app so much more uh, useful and expensive and for all fitness levels uh, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that unfortunately, that's why that thing is so long. <laughs> Let's go one more time. All right, and then we're gonna go into some rocking. So let's go ahead down on all fours. Uh, I'm gonna point my toes today and just forward and back rock. Did anybody do, I saw like 20 or so views on YouTube of the recovery workout. Did anybody actually do it? I haven't, like, I, I know people are like clicking on it and whatever, but I don't know if any of you guys actually did it. Has any of you guys done it yet? Man, it's so quiet without the AC fans and without the radio on. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, just as a heads up, tomorrow's Metabolic, I'll try to put it out ahead of time. Uh, you're gonna need a bed sheet or two towels that will tie together. We're gonna try uh, doing some ropes stuff with it. Uh, kind of play a parachute um, with it. Um, crawling, forward and back. Nope, not yet, okay. Oh, you haven't done it either, Jensen? Jensen, I texted your mom, by the way, that her thing was done and that I haven't seen her use the app yet, but she didn't even respond to me. Hopefully she's doing all right and uh, taking it easy, recovering from Maui. All right, and then let's go into our marching cross touch, opposite arm and leg. Good Lord, I'm already sweating and we're just doing the warm up. I need to get a fan in here. Hopefully they fix our AC. Oh. All right. So, uh, let's go over things. So, exercise number one, is, or sorry, pod number one, is, uh, well, yeah, you can tell her. I just wanna make sure she doesn't have any questions and that she's moving and like, and getting in her workouts and staying healthy is obviously that was her goal uh, and make sure she maintains that because um, we don't have the accountability of the gym right now. 
so high plank hold. So for those of you who can, here, plank, feet are together, ideally, okay? You're gonna put your hands directly underneath your shoulders, but I want you to press the floor away. So I'm gonna face my back to the camera real quick. What you'll notice is, look at my upper back right here between my shoulder blades. So most people are here when they hold a plank, they like sag in their shoulder blades. I want you to push the floor away and reach and stretch between your shoulder blades. So don't push down here, right? I don't wanna see a rounding in your upper back or in your mid back, I wanna see that. It's a very small movement between your shoulder blades and you should feel like you're stretching the muscles in between your shoulder blades apart, all right? So that's what I want with a high plank. And then I want you to dig your feet in. Oh, she's still on Maui. She didn't come back. Uh, I want you to dig your feet in and then spread the floor as well um, while pushing away. And we're gonna hold that for 30 to 45 seconds. And then we're gonna go to jump squats with a pause. Those will be fun. So you're gonna come here. You're gonna go jump, land, pause. Two, three, four. Jump, land, pause. Two, three, four. And we're gonna do six of those. If you cannot or should not be jumping, we're gonna go into those explosive squats. So we're gonna go explode, come down. Two, three, four. Explode, down. Okay, so just come up explosively. Um, and that will be the first pod for eight minutes. So our goal is to get through as many sets as possible in eight minutes. And it's not like we're trying to rush them. Um, it's just a matter of uh, ease moving over into pods. So should get roughly three sets of everything, ideally. Each set should take a little more than a minute or about a minute. Uh, is everybody good and ready to go? All right, so I got an eight minute countdown timer on here. Um, I'll set that and we'll just, you can move with me if you don't want to count. Uh, otherwise, if you want to go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, you're more than welcome to. But I feel like with only two exercises, it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to like not do it with me if that ends up happening. Um, Cause it's only two exercises. So one way or another, we'll catch up to each other uh, or something if you're not doing it exactly at my timing. Although if you can do it at my timing, please do. Uh, that way you don't have to keep up. It's kind of like one of those actual follow along workouts where people are just doing step aerobics and copying the instructor. Okay, so here we go. Cause I'm gonna die in here from heat exhaustion. All right, so high plank hold. Press that floor away with the shoulders. Rip that floor away with your feet. Tuck your tail under. You should feel pretty much every muscle on your front side and your lats turned on. And even though you're not moving, this is a very exhausting exercise because of how much tension you have everywhere. Keep pressing that floor away like you're trying to push it away. Just even that one millimeter more. Really dig your feet in. Rip that carpet apart. You should feel your glutes turn on. Press that floor away. Oh, that was 45 seconds. So if you need to rest, you can rest. If not, keep going for that full minute. We're at 20 seconds left. Press and hold. Make sure your shoulders don't come out to your ears. Really rip that floor away with your feet. 10 seconds. Whoo, fatigue. Uh, four, two, relax. All right, sorry, you guys can stand up, get ready. You should put the swim clock up. Do you want the swim clock up? I have the swim clock, it's right here. There you go. Um, but thank you for that suggestion. All right, so we're going to those squat pauses. So we're gonna go ahead here. Jump, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that is my six, okay? I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water, and then if you're going back into those planks, go, go ahead. You need water real quick. Insta, can y'all see that? There, it's on the Instagram, it's on. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't fit on Instagram there. 
Yeah, that's close enough. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'll uh, fudge myself over this way. So, going to those high plank holds. I'm gonna go. This 53, or five, 532. So I'm gonna go to 432, rip that floor apart, press that floor away. Really reach, you should feel under the muscles underneath your armpits, turn on. Rip that carpet up, grab that floor. Dig your fingers in, dig your toes in, rip that floor. Oh God. I got 10 more seconds, give or take. Five, three, and relax. If you're following along with me. Whee! Jumping out, no good, because you live in a condo. My poor neighbor's below me. Yeah, you don't have to jump. You can just go with those explosive, explosive. You don't need to leave the ground. I get it. Hey Janine, uh, you're uh, Mike's friend, right? From uh, Texas? From uh, Mike from, I don't remember what his last name is. Uh, from the OS group, right? Uh, so jump squats, explode. Six, one, two, three, four, jump. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, Four, two, three, four. Whew. Okay. All right, back to those planks. Three twenty-five left. Getting about two sets, uh, three sets in per eight minutes. So it's about good. I'm catching my breath. Those planks are rough. All right, here we go. I'm at three fifteen. Go. Uh, I wish Facebook would scroll. I can see Facebook and I can see somebody commented, but unfortunately it's stuck and I can't scroll it and I uh, wanna, uh, can't click. What did I say? 3.15? Oh, 30 seconds. Here we go. Press and rip the floor. I gotta break. Oh, 15 seconds. I can't. All right, I did like 45 seconds. Tucson, that's right. Did you work at the same gym as, uh, I think his name was Mike? I think I met him like once or twice at the uh, OS Pro. How are you liking Hawaii? I know you've been here for a bit. Uh, jump squats, we got two minutes left, guys. If you wanna be ambitious, get your jump squats in, get that plank in. I don't know if I'm gonna be ambitious to be honest. Whew. Here we go, jump. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, ah! Whew. I got a minute thirty. All right, maybe I will do it. I'm gonna rest till a minute. Ah! All right. I'm dying. I'm gonna go on my knuckles. My wrists are getting a little beat up. I got 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna go right at that minute mark for me. Oh, for all of us, it's the end of the timer. And go to the rest, of the, to the end of the timer. Go! As you have to drop, drop, and get up back, and get back up as quick as you can. Dude, 
show's only 20 seconds? Come on. How long is this timer? Oh, God. And it is hard, don't get me wrong. Like, this is a rough plank because of the tension. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds left in this eight minute pot. Because if you're ripping the ground apart, pressing that floor away, it is a whole lot of tension in your body. 15 seconds, guys. Try not to drop. Ah, uh, five seconds. Don't give up on that tension. Press that floor, rip that floor away. Two, one. Oh, God. Thank you. All right. Take a break real quick. No problem. I've seen you here before, uh, like a couple of times, but yeah. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Whew. All right, we're just gonna catch our breath for a little bit. Well, you guys can catch your breath. I got it done with the next exercises. All right, so we don't need this anymore, unless you guys want to see the eight-minute timer. So comment if you do, if you need that for an eight-minute timer. Otherwise, I got you here. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, side plank with rotation and a skater lunge. Ah. Okay, uh, skater lunge. Think side squat, so wide feet. Get down into that squat, and then all we're gonna do is stay at this height, and we're gonna shift our weight. So when I'm here, I'm gonna pry my knees open, spread that floor, push my weight over this way, pry the floor open, spread, push, sit up as tall as I can. And we're just gonna shift our weight left and right. 10 times, so left, right, one, left, right, two. I'm gonna step off real quick. I need a pad for my forearms. Side plank with rotation. We're gonna go, we can go 10 of these. So we're gonna go elbow into the floor, into the ground. If you wanna go knees, you can. If you wanna stack your feet, you can. Press that elbow into the floor, shoulder away from your ear. Press and hold. Here, up, reach as far back as you can. Press and come up open. That is one. We are doing 10. If you're doing them on your knees, which I might do, here, reach, and open, all right? 10 on each side. Any questions there? So we're gonna go, look how sweaty I am already. That's kind of gross. Uh, so 10 on each side, and then 10 uh, skater lunges, all right? Whew. Everybody ready? Any questions? I'm honestly kind of stalling, I'm dying. All right, here we go. Sorry, those side planks. Try to do as many as I can. In that high plank, reach. Keep pushing that floor away so the shoulder doesn't sag. That's one. Oh God, that's two. That's three. If you want to, four, you can stagger your feet. Five, but you're not rushing this, right? That's why I'm moving at my pace. Hopefully six, seven. Don't let your body drop. Eight, I don't want this shoulder by your ear. Nine, oh God, oh. Ah. That's exhausting. I'm gonna go ahead, switch to the other side. because my shoulders are bad, it's really important for me to push away, get some extra shoulder health benefit. And it's two, ah, three. Get some shoulder stability, four, five, six, seven. If your arm is sliding, eight, it's because you're not pushing down, you're pushing up, nine, Three, 3.30 down. All right, go ahead and show skater lunges. Uh, probably gonna get in two of everything here. Feet are wide. The air feels heavy. Woo. Squat, press. So this is the start. Press open, shift. 
press open, shift, one. If you need to make it harder, go even slower between transitions. Really pry and spread that floor. That's two. Sit up tall. Try to get all the way over. Really rip that far. I noticed my foot just gave up. That's three. I didn't have as much tension on the ground. Stay nice and low. Four. You gotta make it harder. Get even lower. That's five. Six. Seven. You're almost like resisting going that way. Right? Eight. This leg's pushing me that way. This leg's like fighting me from going that way. Like it doesn't want me there. Nine. If you want to add a weight here, you can absolutely add a weight here. Carry it down here. Ten. Look at that. Jugs of water. Laundry detergent. Basket of laundry. A book bag. How are we doing, guys? Nobody's talking. Are you all dying too? We are just under five minutes. Oh, oh I counted wrong. This is an eight minute round. I thought it was a 10. When I said 3.30, it was only a minute and a half that had gone by. Anyway, I was wondering why it didn't take, it was no, it took three minutes, but hey. I'm a little loopy. All right, here we go. Whew. We got 4.30, probably getting one more set each, hopefully. That's why we start on the core, in case we do extra. I wanna do extra core. Press and hold. Reach. One. Reach as far as you can to make it harder. Two. Three. Four. Oh my God, this sucks. Five. Whew. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine. You're all good. Oh. Huh. Ten. Switch. I gotta go a little slower and just be a little bit more careful. Shoulders getting tired, which means it's getting weak, and eventually. My shoulder does want to give out as those muscles holding it in place get fatigued. So I do need to be very careful. Ready? One. Two. Three. Oi. Ah, five. Six. Oh, eight, seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Scanner lunges. You can go ahead without me. Oh, I'm kidding. But this is rough. 2.30 guys, let me grab a quick drink of water. Hopefully on the skater lunges, y'all are feeling that outside portion of your glutes, which to be fair, you should probably also be feeling on those side squats, I mean uh, side lunges, because you're driving that foot into the ground, trying to bridge up. Whew, let's go, we got two minutes. Stay low, press and reach. I see you, Melissa. I can't read from that far. I will get to it in a second. One, two, two. stay low. Pry those knees open as you transition, right? Pry those knees open. Three, four, try to move slower than me. Five, it's not about moving fast at all. It's about control. Six. Fight. Seven. Fight. You push one way, try to fight not to go that way. Your, your legs are having. Six. Uh, fight. That's the who wants you. Seven. 
10, Whew. 50 seconds left. It's humid here, so I can imagine how it is for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we got no windows, there's no ventilation here. So when the AC is off here, it's, it, is, it is rough. It's a lot hotter than if we could have the doors open, like the doors open in the front won't really do much. 30 seconds, guys, keep going if you can. I'm not gonna start, because I'll literally do two on one side and two on the other, and then it'll be over. So. If you're still going, keep going. Finish up. Whew. We got one more eight minute pod. Grab a drink of water. Like Melissa said, it is humid. So make sure you stay hydrated. So do I physically hold my thighs open? You mean with your hands? So when you're here, right? You are shifting your weight left and right. So when I'm here, push and I'm fighting here. I'm fighting, I'm fighting that way. This, I'm fighting that way. I'm trying not to let it collapse in, if that makes sense. Right? So if one person was on this side of me, one person was on this side of me, I'm trying to push them away from me. So if I'm here, I'm trying to push away from this person and this leg's fighting from wanting me to go that way. And then I'm gonna push away from this person and this leg's fighting me from going that way, if that makes sense. But while you're doing that, the tendency is to wanna let this cave in. So I want you to, when you get here, pry your knees open so we're working working more the external rotation glutes and all that kind of stuff if that makes any sense melissa okay yeah. all right supine bridge pike push-ups all right guys this ought to be interesting okay so i'll show you the pike push-up first for those of you advanced people which let's be honest it's probably not me because my shoulder's getting tired but if you're tired of doing push-ups, if you have no lower back problems, if you have no shoulder problems, and you can press overhead without compensation, I will do my breaths to demonstrate this. You're gonna put your feet up onto a box, a chair, a couch. I'll tuck my shirt in so you don't get nudity. So, oh, here, feet are here, and I'm in a oh, V or L position. I'm going forward because obviously that box is unstable now. And then we're gonna go here, okay, for 10, if you choose to. That is again, if you have no contraindications of pressing overhead, meaning you don't arch your back, we don't have shoulder issues, you can bend your knees a little bit more, put yourself in whatever vertical position you want. If you got books at home, you can put your hands on books so that you can go Lower, because otherwise your head's gonna hit the ground, right? Ha, <sighs> I'm already tired and exhausted. All right, now, those of you who can or should not, which is the, the one I'm probably gonna do majority of the time, if not all the time, is just a negative push-up. So, grab the ground, corkscrew the elbows, lock down those lats, right? So watch my shoulders, lock it down, all right? Like $100 bills in your armpit, somebody's trying to steal it from you. Extend your feet out, slowly lower yourself to the ground, drop to the knees, come up safely, do it again. Literally take about three to four seconds to lower yourself to the ground. My internet has been slow, so you keep freezing. I have a Zoom meeting after this. I'll check my email. Let me know if I... Yes, please do, Corey. All right. Any questions there? Oh, I didn't even show you the other one. Okay, so supine bridge. I'm going to bring out uh, my mat again. You got two progressions here, okay? So, whew, sweating. Here, elbows, push up, dig the heels in, bridge and hold for three, come back down, bridge and hold for three. I have not great shoulders and actually this mat might make it worse because I'm gonna slide. So I'm gonna do it from a high position. So push shoulders down and away, right? I don't wanna be up here with my shoulders. So push down and away, dig my heels in, bridge till I'm in a straight line. I should dig my heels in, I should feel my hamstrings contract, I should squeeze my glutes and butt cheeks, and then come back down after a three second pause, and then do it again. All right? Me too, froze twice. He froze once for me too. It might be our internet, you know? Um, everybody was saying that Instagram was a little pixelated last time, so I apologize. I don't know 
why though I'm not seeing it on my end and I don't know if I would but um it could be our you can blame spectrum spectrum business internet is who we have in case you want to blame anybody if it is our internet um but anyway did you guys uh need the demo again right so we have I'm gonna do the high plank position because it's a little safer for my shoulders uh elbows uh it's a little easier on the hips and glutes but it is harder on the shoulder that is a harder range of motion for most people so I do it this way right feet together dig in here and if that's easy we can go one leg and bridge and hold and then do uh, all one side and then all the other okay uh, just another hip extension variation for us uh, and then again if your wrists are bothering you you can do them from your knuckles okay any questions there guys No questions. Awesome. Yeah, it could just be uh, Instagram's bogged down too if, if Facebook's not freezing either. Might not be our internet, it might just be uh, Instagram kind of bogged down. So anyway, questions, are we good? Last eight minute round, grab a drink of water. So we got those pikes, pike push-ups, or negative push-ups, and then those supine bridges. Ah, uh, okay, Corey. Well, Corey said her internet was slow. So, it just depends. Well, I apologize. You can always do the replay anyway. But Corey's got a Zoom meeting, so who knows if she even wanted to um, go to her meeting all sweaty and gross. Or do you just be on the audio and not put the video on? Anyway, oh, don't forget, we'll probably do a, a Zoom hangout this Saturday, uh, Friday. Uh, if you guys want to come hang out, just see familiar faces and have a little social gathering. Okay. So let's go, I'm talking too much. All right, here we go. I'm going to those pike push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Yeah, I don't have the hamstring flexibility, so I'm not completely uh, vertical. Um, but I still, that's definitely, I'm feeling it more. Triceps and shoulders and chest, so. Whew, what do we got? Bridges. Supine bridges. Now, if those supine bridges are easy, you could also feet elevate, right? If you want to. I don't have the shoulder mobility for that, so I'm not going to. I'm tired. All right, guys, here we go. Drive hard, one, two, three. Drive, one, two, two. Drive, one, two, three. One, two, four. Make sure you're getting all the way up, full extension. One, two, five. Make sure the shoulders stay away from your ears. One, Two, six. One, two, seven. If you need to, you can bend your knees a little bit and bridge and hold. One, two, eight. Oh God, the hamstrings are cramping. Whew. Here we go. Push that four away. One, two, nine. Biggest thing is make sure your shoulders stay safe. Get as straight of a line as you can in your body. One, two, whoo. Going back to those negative push-ups, I'll do a set of negative push-ups. You can't do this, can't do what? The uh, supine hip bridges? So, Melissa, if you can't do the supine hip bridges, let's go into these knee hug, single leg hip bridges with a three second pause, all right? So we can be here, hug, bridge, one, two, three, and then do 10 on one side and 10 on the other, all right? Is that the exercise you were talking about? Oh, sweating, can't see. Yeah, 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 okay. So hopefully that's a nice regression for you that you can do. I think we're on a delay. So I probably asked the question, showed you the answer, and then you probably typed that in. And uh, perfect, good, I'm glad. All right, let's go. Five minutes left. 
negative push up. So, and Melissa, if you want, if that single leg glute bridge ends up easy, right, that knee hug single leg glute bridge, we can go ahead and put that foot up on a couch, on a chair, something, and then do that bridge too, okay? Uh, that's a really long Instagram name, whoever you are. But thank you for joining us. Oh God, I'm sweating. My foot literally, it's wet over here. I know that's kind of gross. Grab, rip the floor, slowly come down. One. Two. You should come down that slow. Oh, three. Four. Five. Woo. Six. Is it raining? Seven. It's hard to tell, I have concrete walls. Oh, my pants are wet, this is gross. Ah, I think that's eight. Ah. Ah. Woo -hoo. Oh God, all right. Wow, it's raining that hard? Is there wind too or is it just raining hard? All right, supine bridges. I'm gonna do Melissa's variation. <laughs> Sorry, I know. Well, you know how that goes, Melissa. I'm gonna do Melissa's variation or some variation of a bridge because my wrists are starting to, to bother me. Dude, that is raining hard. I don't know if you can hear that at all. That's a monsoon. Ha! Here we go. 240. So I'm not gonna do any hug, but I'm gonna do like straight up. Driving bridge. One, two. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. Maybe I can stand out in the rain after this. One, two, seven. Cool down. Take a shower. One, two, eight. So hot. One, two, nine. One, two, switch sides. Woo, crap in the butt. One, two, one. One, two, two. So if you're not doing single leg, right, you can rest. Two, three. Go back to those push ups, whether it's the pike push ups. Two, four. Or the uh, negative push ups. One, two, five. Hopefully, me and Melissa at least following along with me. Six. One, two. What comes after six? Seven. One, two, Eight, don't feel it in your lower back at all, right? One, two, nine, push the floor away, two, ten, oh! Got a minute left. The pikes don't take me that long. I might try some uh, pike push-ups before the timer runs out. Whew, 50 seconds, guys, here we go. You don't listen, then you don't need to listen to me whine anymore about how incredibly hot it is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh God, 25 seconds to spare. Keep going guys, finish up your set. We lost everybody on Facebook. What happened? Oh boy. Three, two, 
One. You guys are done. That is it. Another no equipment body weight workout completed. I can't, that's gross. I'm just wiping myself with a wet t-shirt. All right, questions. That is not the sweatiest I've ever been in my life, sadly. But it's definitely been a while. Good to get that sweat on, but it makes me very uh, sluggish. You're very welcome, Melissa. Hey, by the way, Melissa, if you do ever want to see the online training app, whether the group side or individualized training, or you know people that might uh, want to train from home who have the financial resources and are bored at home and need a trainer, uh, please let me know. I'd like to connect with them and try to keep people healthy and moving the right way um, while in this quarantine time so people aren't just doing all these squats and lunges and burpees. So if any of you guys know anybody, please let me know. I really love that app. I love that we got access to that and we're building it out to be a great system with video demonstrations as well as the ability to like film yourself doing that specific exercise so I can coach you and clean up your form on it. So it's, it's a really cool platform. Um, I'm glad we have access to it. But anyway, thank you, Melissa. Uh, I'll try to put up a schedule. Guys, uh, Friday, you guys are going to need a heavy object and tomorrow you're going to need two long towels, like two bath towels or beach towels or uh, like a bed sheet, any kind of sheet. Like we're going to play parachute, right? We're going to try and use that to mimic ropes because uh, most of you guys don't have ropes. So we're going to use two towels tied them together and independently use the ends so that you don't get whacked in the face uh, by rat tailing yourself or pin a towel down. I mean, not a towel, a, uh, a sheet. And we're going to play parachute like when we were little kids. I don't know. I'm sure Melissa remembers this, right? Yeah. When we were kids, play parachute, throw it up and used to go under and hide under. We're not going to hide under, but we're just going to basically play parachute. All right. All right, Dennis, see you tomorrow. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to end this because I'm dying and I need to lay on the floor. All right. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully that was a good workout. And uh, stay safe, dry, and uh, don't get sick. All right, guys. I will see you all later. Hey, Heather. We're just finishing. I'm about to put this on Instagram story if you want to uh, do that. But um, text me uh, or call me if you want. Uh, we have an online training app. That might be really cool if you have the time to work out at home. I don't know how you guys are doing at the store and how busy you guys are, if you guys are still open or whatnot. But if there's anything we can do to help, please let me know. Uh, I'll try to reach out to you and, uh, and see if you need anything from me or if I can help you in any way. But we have all these replays. It's going to be up on Instagram Live in a second. Uh, and then we also have them on Facebook, all the replays, if you want to do a follow along, all right? Uh, hopefully you're still here and I'm not talking to nobody, but good seeing you. Heather, hopefully you and Matt are doing well. I'm sure Matt's crazy busy right now. All right, see you later.